Now, last Friday, a stunning new piece of public art was unveiled in Leeds as part of the city's Year of Culture. Some are calling it Yorkshire's answer to the Angel of the North. The sculpture will serve as a beacon of hope after a dark chapter in the city's history, as Amal Latif discovers. Internationally award-winning artist Yinka Shonabari is putting the finishing touches to an important sculpture that will serve as a positive symbol for the city of Leeds. I've come up with a piece called um, Hibiscus Rising. It's a beautiful sculpture. I want people to feel good when they see it. It's a hibiscus flower, nearly 10 metres tall, and it's to remember a homeless man called David Olawali, a British Nigerian who died after suffering years of abuse by two police officers. It's a story that's haunted the city for more than 50 years, but Yinka hopes that the sculpture will turn it into something more positive. And I wanted to create a work that's not about the legacy of sadness, but the, a legacy of hope. Like all Yinka's work, it's covered in patterns inspired by African batik fabrics as a reminder of David's Nigerian childhood. I wanted to think about a time in David's life when he was happy. The sculpture has been commissioned by Leeds 2023 City of Culture with the charity Remember Olawali. Its founder is Max Farah. So Max, what was David like? David was a very forceful guy. He stood up for himself and he was called Yankee because he loved partying and American really? culture. David suffered from mental health problems and was frequently abused by two police officers whilst living on the streets. He used to sleep in this doorway, oh and in fact, this is the place where he wow. was last seen in 1969, the fateful night of his death. It was later reported a man looking like David was seen being chased by two police officers towards the river. His body was found a mile downstream. What really happened remained unknown for nearly two years. Had it not been for the fantastically brave police cadet, Gary yeah. Galvin, speaking up. Um, we'd, we'd have never known this story. Gary was a 19-year-old police cadet. He'd heard rumours of two police officers boasting about the incident, and so he reported them to his sergeant. As a result of Gary blowing the whistle, Sergeant Kenneth Kitching and Inspector Geoffrey Elliker went on trial. Whistleblower Gary died in 2002, but he kept a record of what happened, which he passed on to his son, Carl, himself now a senior police officer. So this is the scrapbook that my father kept. Newspaper cuttings tell the story of the trial. The men were tried for manslaughter, but the judge decided that there wasn't enough evidence and they were convicted of assault. Although Gary was often ostracized within the police, members of the public showed their appreciation for Gary speaking up. My husband and I, both working class pensioners, were very happy to know that there are still people of integrity within this country. Powerful words makes you incredibly proud, really. Carl's dad's actions eventually led to the police doing the right thing. The act of whistleblowing meant that the, not only were the police responsible for his death, far more police officers were responsible for getting justice for David Finally, for Max and his colleagues from Remember Olawali, it's the big day. Hibiscus Rising is taking pride of place in a new park near the river. It's awesome, it's awe-inspiring. We're remembering him in a way that what has happened to David should never happen again. Yeah. It will be a beacon of hope for the future. Yinka is in Leeds to see it. It's a really happy sculpture. Well, that sweetness of the hibiscus and the sweet memories is what I would like to give to the people of Leeds. Ah, oh, such a powerful film. Thank you so much, Amma.